<laughs> Stop watching porn! <laughs> oh, good afternoon. I hope you all are having a lovely day. It's been a few days, hasn't it? It has been a few days. Just took a little bit of a break there from all this whole deal after no Fep November, but you know what? It was great. Learned uh, learned a few things over the last few days. Just got some time to think and ponder and reflect and pray and walk and all that good stuff. Actually went on a seven-hour walk on Thursday night until about 3 a.m. That was that was good. That was good. I really like that. I recommend that. But oh, one thing I will say is please take breaks to stretch and stuff like that. I did not and. My hips are still a little bit sore. It is weird, and I think I probably don't walk correctly or something. But anyhow, I'll deal with that later. That was enough introversion for one night for me, though. I had the next day off, and I did, uh, and I had a half day at work on Saturday, which was yeah. Whew. Didn't uh, didn't really hang out with people a lot, and that sucked. <laughs> that really sucked, which is crazy because I used to be a totally 100% introverted. And now it's apparently not like that anymore. I definitely love people. Before, I did not care about people one bit. And just I was more annoyed with them than anything. And that is just totally 100% turned around. I love people. I love going out and doing stuff with people. It's awesome. And yeah, it's awesome. Do not like the whole staying at home alone thing at all. Man, it is, it's, a, it's rough. <laughs> And part of that is due to no fat, and part of that is due to, you know, general self-improvement and stuff. A lot of stuff has taken place over the last couple of years, but you know what? It's all good. I, I love, I love it this way. It's awesome. So much more fulfilling, so much more, uh, just so much richer, really. But anyhow, let's get to the, uh, the point of this video. Like I said, I had some time to think and reflect and all that kind of good stuff, and look back at, you know, some of the stuff that I've written before because, yeah, I used to write about this a little bit anonymously and I'm going to continue once I get my whole website stuff straightened out. But, uh, yeah, some of the stuff I used to write, uh, some of the old videos and stuff, I rewatched a little bit of my old stuff. And I got to thinking about, you know, what, what are the two biggest epiphanies that I've had that have helped me quit porn? You know, what, what are the two things that, if I could say anything to, to somebody about how to quit porn, if I could only say two things, what would they be? And the biggest, the biggest differences, the biggest realizations that made the biggest difference are, one, I always have a choice, and two, it's never about what I want. So... Back when I was in the process of quitting porn and stuff like that, which was a long process, I, I really had wanted to quit from the day I started. It was something that I'd never wanted to get into, uh, and I just I just hated it the entire time. And I, I know a lot of you kind of sympathize with that, hating this thing that you constantly do. And even the Apostle Paul sympathized with that. He says, um, I think it was the Apostle Paul, correct me if I'm wrong, or I'll probably look it up later and correct myself, but he says it, the thing... I don't want to do, I do. And the thing I do want to do, I don't do. And he says somewhere, oh wretched man that I am, who will save me from this body of death? And it's just this this loathing of the things that you do. And I was 100% there for about five or six years of you know, being stuck in that addiction. And I hated it. Every day I hated it. And every day I, I swore to make it different next time. And every day I, I said, okay, well, tomorrow is different. Tomorrow I will, I quit this for good. This is not a thing anymore. And I was as resolved and I was as committed as I could possibly be in those moments. But it didn't last. Because I always got to this point. The next day would come and I would, and, and so would I. And it would, I just felt like I didn't have control over it. It was just, I, I got to this point where nothing else I cared about, none of my motivations or anything like that, none of my old commitments mattered anymore. Or rather, it's not that they didn't matter, it's just that they they didn't have the power to stop it. They didn't have the power to stop the ur these powerful, powerful urges because your sex drive is a powerful thing. Plus, 
the way the uh, the addiction itself, the way it changes your mind is also very powerful. You have these two extremely powerful forces that are fighting against you. And in many cases, it feels like you can't stop it. I felt in so many times, hundreds of times, like I couldn't stop it. I would be on the computer, I'd be doing something else that was you know, totally innocent, and then I would get a little closer and a little closer and a little closer. A lot of times it was curiosity that got the best of me. But even when I recognized what was going on, it was like I couldn't help it. It was just like there was the, this force from inside me or outside of me or something like that that was forcing me to do that. And I actually believed that that was basically the case for a long time. I, I believed that I couldn't help myself. But that was a lie. You always have a choice. You can only fail. You can only fail this if you choose to. You have to take action to watch porn, okay? Unless you are strapped to a chair with your eyes you know, taped open and somebody is force-feeding you porn somehow. You always have a choice, and the battle is always lost or won with a choice. And I had to realize that. I had to accept that. I had to accept that. Guess what? <laughs> I I can literally I can literally make my hand move. I can literally make my hand move the mouse over or or whatever on your phone or trackpad, whatever it is. Your, your crusty, you know, Dorito stained keyboard. You can make your hand move and close the window or go somewhere else or stand up and walk away. And you have to accept that you have this power. And a lot of times, yes, that sounds like it's oversimplifying it. But what we have to realize is that the reason we get caught up in all this stuff, the reason that it's so difficult isn't because it's, it's too complicated and this kind of way of thinking is oversimplifying it. It's because we overcomplicate it. So the mistake, the, the, the biggest mistake that people make in this is not oversimplifying the problem, it's overcomplicating it. And yes, there are so many factors that play into victory and defeat and all that kind of thing, but it's like I said to one of my accountability partners, these other outside factors, these circumstances in your life, they do not win or lose the battle. So if you're going through a lot of stress in life, like I sure have, you know, I went through a breakup um, earlier this year and I had some really, really serious temptations that were that were difficult to overcome in the wake of that just because there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of emotional stuff that goes with that. And it was tough. It was really, really tough. And I reached points where I felt like I couldn't help myself. But I did. I had to realize that these circumstances don't control me. I have a choice. I can choose right now to do the right thing. And if I can make that choice right now, I can make that choice tomorrow and the next day, and the next day, and so on. And that's how that's how you stay off of this stuff. It's a daily, constant choice to do the right thing right now. But these circumstances and stuff, they can feel like they have this powerful influence over you, but all those do is they make the battle easier or harder. These circumstances, all, all these other things that you try to do, they make the battle easier or harder, but they do not win the battle. Even these other tactics that I've talked to you about, they do not win the battle. The battle is one always. It's either won or lost by a choice. That is the only thing that wins or loses the battle. Okay? You have to make a choice, yes or no. And you always, always have that choice. It's never out of your hands. You are never just a victim of your circumstances. Okay? Another thing I said to my accountability partner is pornography can't rape you. Okay? This is not something that can just overpower you, take control, and make you do what it wants you to. You have control. It always requires your consent, your choice in order to do anything to you. And you have to recognize that. You have to take responsibility and say, I'm going to make the right choice no matter what. Even when I feel like I can't, I, I can physically move my hand. I can physically move away and do something else or even nothing at all. You know, you, you can even be facing temptation and just sit there and force yourself to do nothing, absolutely nothing. It's possible. It's difficult. And that, that's the point. That's why this is such a, a big deal. That's why it's such a big battle. That's probably the reason you're even watching videos like this in the first place is because it's difficult. And sometimes you're not sure how to do it. But don't overcomplicate it, okay? 
Don't overcomplicate it. When it gets really, really tough, when it's the toughest actually is when it's the simplest because then it's just right there. Yes or no. What are you going to do about it? Okay? So never forget that. Always keep that in mind. You've always got a choice. And then when you make mistakes, yes, find out how you can make the battle easier. By all means, figure out how you can set up countermeasures or defenses or get or fix other things in your life that are influencing you and making the battle more difficult. But don't blame those things. Those make the battle easier or harder, but they do not win or lose the battle, okay? It's always you. Now, the other thing is, and I'll try to be a little bit more briefer on this part, but already 10 minutes in, wow. The other thing is, it's never about what you want, okay? God gave us two commandments. I've said this so many times before. Two main commandments that everything else falls under. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Okay, we, are, we exist in order to love God and love others. That is the whole purpose of this. Okay, this life, this entire universe. It's not about what you want. It's not about what you feel like. And the same thing goes for pornography. And the thing I, I realized that that just clicked with me one day, I think it was July of last year, July 2015. And I realized, you know what? It doesn't matter what I feel like because so many times I feel like watching porn. So many times that I want that. So many times my other motivations and things, the other benefits to quitting don't feel as significant as the the pleasure of giving in. <sighs> but then I realized it's not about what I want. It's not about convincing myself to want to quit porn more than I want to watch porn. It's not about try, trying to find ways to motivate myself and get really motivated and always be excited about quitting porn or anything like that. It's not about, you know, finding... It's not about what I'll get in return. It's not about maintaining healthier relationships with other people or a healthier relationship with myself. It's not about having more energy or you know boosting my testosterone or anything like that. It's not about saving time. It's not about any of those things that I want. It's always about what God wants. As a follower of God, as a uh, hopefully aspiring to be a man of God, it's always about what God wants. It's always about God's purposes for me. And the, uh, the funny thing, the ironic thing, is that once you give up yourself, not yourself, one word, your space self, you can put a capital S on self if you want, go ahead and give it a name, but once you give that up, once you give up holding on so much to what you want, once I gave up holding on so much to what I wanted, then I became happier. I became so much happier doing just what God wants because at the end of the day, that's what's going to be most fulfilling to us because that's actually fulfilling our purpose. We ourselves become fulfilled, even if the dream, even if the things that we think we desire, even if our alleged desires go unfulfilled, we ourselves are fulfilled because we're not just our desires. We're a lot more than that. It goes, who we are goes a lot deeper than what we want, Okay. And so when we do what we were created to do, then it's not that our desires are fulfilled, it's that we ourselves become fulfilled and that's so much more satisfying. That's so much better. It makes you so much happier than just constantly pursuing your own wants and your own made-up dreams and things like that. And once I realize that, once I realize that it doesn't matter what I want, it's never about what I want, it's always about what God wants, then it became easier to resist because I didn't have to convince myself to quit porn anymore. Like I said, your sex drive is very powerful. And this addiction, this addiction that like physically happens to your brain, there's actually physical changes that happen to your brain when you become addicted to pornography or even drugs and stuff like that. These are very, very powerful. They're extremely persuasive, okay? And they carry a lot of weight in your decision making. And so it's very difficult to, uh, to out-persuade them. It's difficult to convince yourself that something else is better. But you don't have to convince yourself. 
you, you really don't. It's good to know the benefits and everything. It's good to, to pay attention to all that. It's good to learn as much as you can. But at the end of the day, you don't have to convince yourself. And since then, there are very few times when I've bothered convincing myself that it was worth it. Most of the time now, and this has been the case ever since I finally quit for good. Most of the time, I, I just, no. God says, no, I ain't going to do it, you know? And it's as simple as that. And again, it sounds like it's oversimplifying it, but really, that's not oversimplifying it. We just tend to overcomplicate it. So, that's it there. Two biggest epiphanies, the two things that made the biggest difference in my fight. And the two realizations, just things that went off in my head, and I'm like, oh, wow. I always have a choice. You always have a choice. And it's never about what I want. It's never about what you want. Okay? Remember that. Live like that. And if we do, we're all going to make it. So, stick with it, guys. Let's do this thing. And you know what? It might still be tough. I, I hope you really take this to heart, and I hope that it really does make a big difference. But you know what? It can still be tough. You might still relapse. There were times when I came very, very close to relapsing despite all this. It's tough. This is not about making it easy. This is not about learning, getting enough knowledge in your head to make this a cakewalk. Like I said, your sex drive is very powerful. It ain't going away. And then, of course, addiction and stuff. The, the addiction, the physical changes take a long time to reverse. And for me, it, it seems like most most of that is gone. Sex drive, still there. It still craves porn. It still kind of remembers that that was able to, you know, kind of is able to indulge in that in a way. But I, I will tell you, it does get easier the longer you're off this. But it's still difficult. It's still difficult. And there were times when I very, very nearly fell even after being off porn for 16 months. So, <sighs> strap in, guys. Stay committed, stay consistent. Anytime you fail, get back up and keep going. But, like I said, we're all going to make it. So, <sighs> I'm going to cut this off now. It has been 17 minutes. Good talk, though. So, anyway, look forward to hearing from you guys. Leave comments and stuff. Let me know. Let me know how it's going. Let me know what you'd like to talk about. Any, any questions or anything like that, by all means, hit me up. Try to get back into the swing of this, making videos and stuff. See how this goes. Try to keep up the encouragement and all that. And then two other things just to point out real quick. Accountability. Stick with your accountability partners. Get an accountability partner if you don't have one. And prayer. Prayer is awesome. I haven't talked about that in a long time, but always pray. Please pray for me. I pray for you guys a lot. I've been making more of a point to do that lately. Always pray for each other as well. So, like I said, we are one... We're one team here. We're one army fighting this, trying to get free of this. And a big part of that is going to be prayer. That's our spiritual connection to each other in a way. So do that. But anyway, that's it for now. Y'all have a lovely day. God bless you guys. Take it easy, but not too easy. Stop watching porn! And I will talk to you later. I love y'all. See ya.